Hey, Sean here from P2R. Today I wanted to do a short video with you guys and show you a little bit, a little bit about our Waterneck system that we have for the J series. I would say one of the biggest complaints about the J engine, people complain about how the water, the stock Waterneck looks. It's just kind of big, it's kind of bulky. Even though we've done quite a bit of work on those, we offer a lot of block off plates and bolt on pieces that can actually dress up the stock Waterneck. We actually have our full modular design, which is designed for those who kind of want to take it up to the next level. So with that, I just want to show you guys how this design works. We have um, the flange for the front head, the rear head, we have a center section, and we do different setups based on if it's rear wheel drive, front wheel drive. Pretty much with the modular design, you can mix and match and make any combo that you want to make it what suits your car. The J is used in so many applications now from sand rails to rear wheel drive cars, front wheel drive. So we just wanted to make it that it could be capable or compatible with pretty much any setup. What we have here is this is going to be the front wheel drive front flange, or at least what we used it for in our examples. All of our flanges are made with a 16 AN, so they can take a 16 AN fit in and it would screw in like that. We also have for guys who don't necessarily want to do AN fit ins and want to spend a little less money. We also do for push hose. This would basically go over a standard radiator hose and we also offer them with side ports. So in this case, we have the fit in that will work with the OEM Honda water temp sensor and it screws right into the side. So you basically screw this in, screw in a water temp sensor and you can get back up and going. We also do it with uh, 8AN for if you're trying to run, um, you know, aftermarket AN line just for maybe a side shoot for a heater core or something like that. This also goes on the front head, but normally using a rear wheel drive application. So we actually aimed it to the left because when you put the J engine in a rear wheel drive application, it sits so close to the firewall that um, you can't come straight out like how we do in the other applications. So we did the 90 for you right in the flange. We also added a 1 8 port at the bottom. It can be used for, you know, water temp sensors or any, anything really. You could even put in a push lock um, hose by screwing into there and run it for pretty much wherever you need to get water. This little guy here goes on the rear cylinder head. As you can see, everything is tapped and threaded because this allows us to bolt on the middle section. This is the, the middle. So essentially when this is all together, you know, you have goes together like that. It's where we have the front, the rear and the center section. A lot of the rear wheel drive setups are not gonna use the rear, the middle section, sorry. So this is typically left out on a rear wheel drive setup as a lot of guys want to just U-turn the water pipe right away to bring it back out the front of the car rather than coming all the way to the firewall and then trying to loop back around. And that's why we actually made that part separate as well. So guys can actually just not use that if they don't need it. So what we got here, this is our front water neck. We got a 16 AN fit and screwed in there on the side. This is our center section and this is our rear section. So in this setup for this particular car, I'm going to be running AN. So I got a 16 AN on all three of these. Um, we also, like I said, we can screw these out and we can actually screw in uh, one of the push holes that I showed you in the past. So we're able to just screw one of these in. And then we also have the, air, the water temp sensor right there for if you needed to have that in there. So I'm not going to screw that in there because I want to actually take the center section out and show you pretty much how the rear wheel drive flange would look in here and how I could convert this from a front wheel drive water neck to a rear wheel drive in just a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna start by removing the center section. Already have this all a little bit loosed up. So I'm just trying to do this quick for the video for you guys. And head flange. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this as well. Now typically you wanna make sure you have your gaskets and everything installed just like you would with the stock water neck. I don't have any of that on here right now as we're just doing everything for fitment purposes. This car is being fabricated now. We're building a header and all sort of other stuff. So we're just trying to make sure we clear everything as we need to. So now I got the rear wheel drive flange. As you see, this one shoots straight to the side. Uh, if this motor was actually flipped the other way, like it would be in a rear wheel drive car, you would really see how nice it is to have 
So I'm not gonna go ahead and screw these all the way in. Just kinda wanna get it in there. Held in place so you guys can see. Let me take this one. one in here. Now, what we did a lot of the test fitment for this was in a Honda S2000. So what we did was we put a 90 here as well too. So we actually bring them both to the side and we wrapped around to the front of the vehicle. Um, one thing I actually forgot to mention, when you're doing the water neck system, the way it, it works is you have the front head and the rear head. Essentially, those two need to merge into one at some point as you come back to your radiator and your center water pipe that belongs here will actually be its own. So don't quote me on this, but I believe the, when you merge these two in together, you go to the top of your radiator and the one coming out of the water pump for the water neck goes at the bottom of your radiator. And that's pretty much how you would loop your water system. I hope this video gave you guys a lot of information on our modular billet water neck system and hope it helps you out for if you are thinking about putting this on your car. If you have any other questions and you want more help on what setup might work best for you, feel free to contact us on the website. Also, if you like this video and want to learn more about any parts we have for the J series or learn more about the J engine in general, please subscribe to our channel and um, I'll see you guys again soon.